For the Circuit Python Parsec today, I want to show you how you can get into bootloader mode without board access. So this is really helpful for cases where you have embedded your board inside of a project, such as that Doom keyboard project, uh, and you have some buttons and things available, but you just don't have the ones that are right on the board. Most of our microcontroller boards that require a boot button and a reset button to be pressed, which includes the RP2040 and now the RP3050 boards, as well as I think some of the ESP32 boards. Um, if you want to get to bootloader mode because you want to swap out, let's say, the version of CircuitPython that you're using, you kind of have to disassemble the thing to get to those buttons unless you use a trick like this. So what you can see I've got going on is I'm importing microcontroller. And that means that I will have access to a couple of commands here that I need. Microcontroller on next reset, and you can tell it to do something. In this case, microcontroller run mode UF2, and that is the bootloader mode that, it, that, it, uh, that we want to get it into. Uh, and then also this is a command that uses essentially a command instead of a button to reset. So this is boot and this is reset in software essentially. And now all I'm doing to invoke those is I've created a digital I.O. button, which I'm using for other stuff in the code. But during startup, before I get to the main loop, we do this. We check the button. If it's in false, which is with a pull-up resistor, indicating that I'm pressing or holding the button. In this case, it's a little switch that'll be flipped to the right. Uh, then let's wait a second and then check that it's still pressed. This way we don't just accidentally hit it, but we have to intentionally hold it down. Uh, then we're gonna print, we're going into bootloader mode, and that's just for demonstration purposes so that we can see this. Uh, then we'll sleep a second, and then we'll actually run these two commands, which will put my board into bootloader mode. Uh, then the main loop will only run when we're functioning normally. And you can see I'm still using this button and I'm using it to say, hey, the button is pressed. Uh, right here, I flipped it over, button is pressed. We're just innocent men. Or button not pressed, we're just normal men. So what you can see is in the finder window here, I have my computer's hard drive, a RAID array. Here's the circuit Pi drive. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unplug the cutie pie when I plug this back in, I'm gonna put this into this bootloader mode that this code is looking for. And when I plug it in now, that's the bit of code that's gonna run. It just said in my um, output, gonna do, the, gonna do the restart now. Uh, and now it's showing up as RPIRP2. That is the boot drive that we can go and drag a new CircuitPython UF2 onto or whatever it is you need to do. If I it uh, doesn't matter what, what, uh, what I do at this point, it's, it, it needs to be restarted. So in this case, I would just unplug it, plug it back in, uh, and with that switch flipped to the left, it's showing up as the CircuitPy drive. It's doing all of the, uh, the same stuff it was doing before. I'll hide this now, and you can see uh, it's back to normal, right? Uh, so this is how you can use a button that you're using for some other thing in your code to invoke a boot and reset inside of CircuitPython when you don't have access to the board itself. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec.